All right, konnichiwa, everybody. We're having a look at Koshion tonight. I'm pretty sure I'm saying that right. The developer sent me to Google Translate to find out. Uh, you can hear a, a friendly little Japanese robot say Koshion. And, uh, you know, it's not cushion, so make sure you're saying it correctly because this app is, is really fun. It's a, um, a mini sequencer here. And we have, you know, eight scenes here and eight different banks to work with. And we can send each of these to, to different MIDI channels. So you can create quite the, the elaborate setup if you'd like. And we're gonna use Thumb Jam to do uh, you know, just a one app version of, of what you could really get going on with many different apps if you'd like. You know, um, so yeah, so let's check this out. So we have our drums, our Mellotron strings, and our grand piano. In your preferences, just go to your MIDI control and make sure that you are not on Omni. I had a brief little, you know, what the what the F moment going on here, trying to figure out what was going on. So just make sure that you start on channel one, and then it's going to go one, two, and three. You know, your instruments, uh, you know, line up sequentially like that. It could go five, six, seven if you set it, you know, to five in there, whatever you'd like it to be. But now when we pop back over to, to Koshion, we go to our settings here. And our MIDI channel is going to, to correspond there. So one is going to be our drums, two is going to be our Mellotron strings, and three is going to be our grand piano. So we're on bank one, scene one. Let's make this a C minor. Let's, uh, let's just bump the global tempo up a bit. And uh, we want to make sure that we're on octave two, because I know that's our kick drum for the C. Yep, there we go. Now let's just get you know something going on here. So. Oh, you know, I forgot to hit apply key. Make sure that you always hit apply key. And then, um, yeah, that's that's what we want. So, um, yeah, let's get some hats going on here. Yeah, let's even make this a little bit faster. So now when we go to our second bank here, this is going to be our Mellotron strings because we've, we will set this to, uh, you know, um, MIDI channel two across these four top patterns here. And again, let's make this a C minor, apply key. That almost sounds like the same um, key here. Let's problem solve together. Let's go to our preferences actually and make sure that we don't have like a scale lock on. Yep. All right, so we're we're solving problems together here. That's what the sound test room is all about. Warts and all approach, and make sure that. Uh, if you have any stupid hiccups that, that you can see, uh, you know, for, for the whole world and, and kind of follow along with you to make sure they don't have the same problems. So, yeah, let's go with that, that explanation. So in any case, uh, we have our, our pattern going on here. Let's move this down an octave. We have some gate controls. So we can... Uh, you know, make some sort of staccato notes there, adjust the velocity if we like it, make it a little louder, kind of like that. Now let's go to our third, uh, third bank, and this is our grand piano, so let's um, make this a uh, MIDI channel 3 for our grand piano, and make it the C minor again, apply. And we can also go into monophonic drawing here and just tap this on. So now, now that we kind of have a little, you know, the, the bare bones of a song going on, we can go to edit here and uh, copy and move these and swap them around and um, it's really easy for for each of these we just go to copy and then just select your source 
first, which is uh, you know pattern one, and then your destination. So now we've moved it over to pattern two, and it's going to sound the same, but they're they're moving back and forth here. So let's um, let's just kind of make this a little bit different, I guess. So now we can move between the two. And when we go to settings here, go to your quantized switching. I'm sorry if I'm shouting now, but it's a little loud again. So um, now instead of uh, one at a time, they, they move, you know, right as you tap them. So very good stuff there. So, uh, you know, just, just handy, you know, uh, quantized settings there. Um, inside of the, uh, the editor here, or just below the editor rather, we have the... Um, Quantize, quantization switching where we can go to sixteenths and thirty seconds. Looks like we had a little, uh, another little wart going on there. Sorry, I, ju I just instinctually shut the video off there, and I shouldn't have, uh, because yeah, you know, this is the the wart and all approach. I, I have not had a bug like that before um, running this. Um, you know, maybe there was just a bit too much going on with the the MIDI data send. Um, I haven't done like a hard reboot or anything like that. So there are a few things that we could do to to try and clear that up. Um, but you know, we kind of saw how we had a song going on with um, you know, Thumb Jam here, running three different instruments, you know, sending to all of our different banks, and uh, you know, subsequently, you know, inside of these banks, we have different MIDI channels so that we could even do drums on one channel, Mellotron on another right inside of the, the bank. So really cool stuff there. Um, also with our editor, you know, we have our single, we can simultaneously play, you know, one and two, uh, so, So just a really simple beat there. Now we can simultaneously play two. Let's make sure that we switch over to two. There we go. So yeah, so you can hear how they, they simultaneously play. We can chain them together. So now it's gonna go one, two, back and forth. So very, very simple stuff there. Uh, the rebound just goes back and forth here. So we have our little pattern. Hits the wall at the end there and goes right back. Uh, you know, I did the, the quantize settings there. We saw gate and velocity. If we have a song that we like, saving it is very easy. Just hit new, you know, um, title, and hit save. Bada bing, bada boom, go over to load. There it is. We can, uh, you know, load, load it right back up. We can go back to test, which is something I had else going on earlier. Yeah, so that's just a little something I, I was doing, you know, just before this, getting ready for this video. So yeah, this is a really cool app. Um, you know, I'm sorry I had the little hiccup there, but, you know, it, it lets you know what, you, what you're in for, I guess, in the, the murky world of iOS sometimes. But, you know, really for, for the cost of a cup of coffee, I've been having hours of fun with this app. And, um, you know, it's an evolving evolving platform and the apps are constantly evolving. You know, the, o, the iOS update, you know, has been wreaking some havoc and things like that. But in any case, I, I just have tons of fun with this stuff. And um, I think it's important that you uh, kind of see the, the warts and all approach of it. So, you know, if you have any questions, hit us up at thesoundtestroom.com. Check us out on Patreon, as always. We, we really appreciate our supporters. Um, there's more of you every day, and, and it's awesome. Uh, you know, we have app giveaways for you guys over there, app giveaways on the site. Check us out. If you have any questions, get a hold of me. As always, thank you so much, guys. All right, take care.